Okay, in this presentation we're going to look at how to install a package with Julia, for Julia. So where I am at, I'm at the command line interface, okay, so I just have Julia there. And so I, what I realize here is this might be a little bit hard to read. So, but what I'm going to do here is I am going to use a notepad editor in the background there so that you can just get a clear sense of what I'm going to write. Uh, just notice there that I'm using uh, capital P there and lowercase letters pretty much everywhere else. So let's go back here. So what I'm going to do here is first off state that I'm using the package editor, uh, package manager, PKG. That's all I have to do there. Type in, in using PKG, okay, capital P. Uh, what I want to do first off is just actually see what I have installed currently okay so i'm going to just actually check i'm, I'm going a bit of uh doing a lot here but it's just actually just to sort of show what's going on uh these are all the packages that i currently have now i don't actually have that many installed i only actually before i started making these videos i only needed two or three of them but there we have them there csv stats base i julia distributions and so on and actually, I installed them very much using this process I'm, I'm using now. Now, what I'm going to do here is actually see if any of them need updating. So, PKG update. There we go. I'm going to run that. It might take a while. Okay. But what I'll do in the meantime... Oh, actually, it didn't take that long this time. Partly because I had to, I've done it very recently. But what I'll do here for just for the moment is actually just actually show you what I've been writing there. Uh, using package, package installed, package update, and so on. Now, what I want to do is install a package, and you can have a guess which one I'm going to install here. So, it takes a while to learn about all these packages that you could use. Uh, something that I will just recommend right now is using this website called juliaobserver.com. I that this is pretty good for me for learning about uh, what's currently installed and so on okay so what i'm going to do down here is actually just look through this and read through this list now let's just say for argument's sake i am going to do decision tree okay now just actually notice the capital letters there capital d capital t and also capital s capital l and scikit learn which i actually have installed and i probably would have used actually if i didn't have it already installed for this presentation but yeah we, let's go with decision tree We'll say, okay, so let's go back to Julia here. So package add, and remember to put quotation marks in, decision, and also watch the capital letters. Now this might take a while, okay. No, I actually didn't take that long. Uh, this That was pretty quick, actually. Um, yeah, that's pretty much uh, a get, a, how to get started with installing packages. Now, if you're interested in learning how to use Jupyter Notebooks, uh, you might notice that I have a, something there called iJulia. Okay? Now, I actually have it installed already, so I, I don't need to do it again. But uh, if I want to install, use Jupyter Notebooks... So I would type in I J capital I capital J I Julia. Okay, so that would help me allow me to use Jupyter notebooks, which I love and are brilliant for this sort of thing. Okay, we'll leave it there.